Hello, and welcome to your local cryptid broadcast. Today we're drawing zodiac signs as D&D characters, and Aries is first on the chopping block. Aries are known for being confident and passionate, as well as stubborn. And like most fire signs, Aries are known for being fiery, go figure, and energetic. So for the pose, I tried to give a very equilateral upright triangle to double as energetic shape language, as well as mimic the alchemic symbol for fire. As far as class goes, I thought Aries would be a barbarian subclassing in Path of the Beast. This is due to Aries having the habit of getting blinded by passion and often coming off as aggressive, similar to the just plain aggressive battle rage barbarians are prone to. However, I was tempted to choose Monk as their class because I do imagine this character wouldn't use weapons, instead have a very unique fighting style prone to roundhouse kicks. I suppose it'll just have to be flavor text saying that instead of clawing the enemies, Ares would roundhouse kick them. I think it's obvious why I chose the race to be a satyr, but if it isn't, Ares is represented by a ram. So giving Ares this race just felt right. <laughs> While on your traditional D&D, you don't have satyrs as a playable race, I love homebrew, and I love satyrs so much. <laughs> so this is what you get. If you're a D&D &D purist, leave. For the color scheme of this character, I tried to keep the color scheme very, very warm, as that's just what I think most people associate Aries with. While I do get tired of barbarians being these basically naked, muscular men slash fan servicey women, goats tend to be very lean and gamey, and I felt this body type just made more sense for the ram motif. I really wanted to fill this character design up with as many details as I possibly could, so I went back to researching about halfway through the drawing, and I realized that the zodiac signs have masculine and feminine energies associated with each one of them. While it was too late to change the actual uh, gender of the character, I did try and ensure that Ares was plenty masculine. I also learned Mars was the ruling planet for Ares, so I decided to give them a Mars tattoo using the symbol we have for each of our planets. It just so happened the Mars sign is the same sign we use to represent one's gender. I also gave this character a downturned arrow-esque nose shape to resemble the ram's triangular nose. I gave them a confident smirk as that's the main trait associated with Ares, doughy eyes as that's my favorite and cutest part of the ram, uh, and while it's not realistic to rams, I just really love the style of drawing tails and legs for satyr characters. So I made it really fluffy, kind of the way you would see a unicorn being drawn in some traditional art forms. Specifically, The Last Unicorn, one of the, all my all-time favorite movies. Tell me if you think the class and race I chose for this character is accurate. I think this design makes for a really unique D&D character, and I can't wait to see how, if any of you do choose to play as them, how it goes. I feel like they have their very strong moral compass which would blend well in any good campaign. And I feel like of their zodiac sign and use that to help you build off on how to roleplay them. So the next drawing, as you probably could have guessed, is Taurus. I love Taurus in concept and was really excited to take the opportunity to learn more about them. However, I was not excited to draw a Minotaur, since that's the uh, most thought of bull-related fantasy creature. Minotaurs are known more for blind rage and aggression, and that just isn't who Taurus is. So instead, I chose to draw them as a centaur, with the bottom half being a bull instead of a horse. Generally, Taurus are sentimental, rational, level-headed, stubborn, and dependable people. Because of this, combined with the environment you'd expect to see a centaur, I thought a druid or a ranger character was most fitting. Instead of the bottom half of the centaur being a horse as is traditional, I made it a bull. I've seen other people do this with like deer or lion parts, so I just thought uh, it would be acceptable to pay homage to how rational and dependable these characters are. I gave him plenty of equipment to tackle the harsh wilderness he calls home. The colors and planet associated with this zodiac sign really surprised me. Tourists are known for mauve and pale blue. I, I, that does, just doesn't seem quite right, so I retconned it to being earthy purples. The ruling planet for Taurus is Venus, and uh, that's just that's the goddess of beauty and love, so it, I don't know. I always thought of something more, a little bit more rough and tumble, autumn-y, plant-based would be it, but nope. So, just like in the last character design, I tried to include this plant symbol, this time not as a tattoo, but as a pattern on their cape lip blanket thing. Centaur's wearing clothes is kind of weird for me to think about, so I just didn't give him clothes. 
<laughs> I have this for their face. I gave them sharp pl uh, eyes and a plump nose as a homage to bull, uh, bull's face. Because bulls often have very piercing eyes and uh, their snout is much more square than you would see on a cow. I also gave them a septon nose ring because sometimes you'll see bulls wearing those and I feel like septum nose rings get way too much hate. But I, I don't know, I guess it just is what it is. Uh, to me, they're super cool. I also tried to give them a very strong facial features, especially in their jaw, uh, but tried to keep them looking very welcoming. The combination of these features made them very dad looking, to be honest. I really love how feminine this muscular man came out, to be honest. <laughs> I think it works well to balance out Aries' like masculine but female look to have such a feminine man, you know? Um, I swear not all of the Zodiac videos will have them only being partially human looking, but they will all be fem uh, fantasy, so if you like that, you should go and watch them all. The way these two characters' energy balances out so well as well as them both being equestrian humans, I feel like in my own personal headcanon, they would be married lovers with maybe a few calves running around. While I think they look great together, the Zodiac gods did disagree. They're only 63% compatible overall. But Zodiac signs and that kind of mythos shouldn't be taken too seriously, in my opinion. Meaning these characters are staying married in my uh, personal headcanon. <laughs> They're my characters, so I guess my personal headcanon is just fact. <laughs> As a D&D character, I don't think Taurus would fare nearly as well as Ares in an actual campaign, given the very gentle look and personality Taurus uh, has. Taurus also tend to be more family-oriented anyway, so I guess that just is what it is. The battle life just wasn't meant for him. <laughs> Let me know if you agree with the race and class I chose for these two characters. If you made it this far in the video, you must have enjoyed it, so you are now legally obligated to, su to subscribe. Prosecutors will be persecuted to the highest extent of the law. That's a joke. <laughs>